What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about uh, one of my uh, Husqvarna trimmers. Um, the pulley, I, I think they're called the dog ears or something like that. When you uh, pull the, the string to get it started, you got these little things inside uh, to catch to get the whatever started. Uh, like, I'm not an expert on lawn equipment. I just use it. Um, so uh, it, they broke. So um, I guess it's repairable. But I went ahead and uh, went to my uh, local Home Depot. Or, um, yeah, I went to the Home Depot and bought a uh, Echo. Uh, it says it's Echo 17-inch, 21.2cc gas pass, PAS trimmer and edger kit so I went ahead and got the one that you can get attachments for um, spend a little money there's up to 12 attachments for this one kind of giving you a little review of it um, I'm very uh, very happy with how it works how it edges um, if you don't want to use the edger part you can use the string uh, trimmer section to uh, edge as well and that's what I normally do because I don't have time to really switch the attachments unless I really want it to look really good. So every once in a while, you know, you got these customers that you want it to look its best. So I take care of it with the uh, metal edger. On my other customers, they just want it to look good. But it doesn't have to be the million dollar house on the block. So uh, with additional information about the... Uh, um, how it comes apart it it's made really good it's a little bit more durable than your typical um trimmers with attachments like uh, i wouldn't go down to the local store and buy the aerobi uh attachments and all that and assume that it's going to work as good as an echo as a steel or some other commercial grade equipment um these are attachments. The, the tubing for this is a little uh, wider in diameter. Um, and so it's it's going to hold the better for the torque, for the all that, you know. Um, so what else? Um, trimmer and edger feature uh, anti-vibration design. So that's good. Uh, when you're holding it you, you know you're gonna maybe hold it for 10 to 20 minutes maybe longer depending on the property uh, accommodates up to 12 attachments so you can go out there and buy 12 other attachments if you want has an easy start and superior operation so i would say it it does a really good job it's lightweight um it hums when you're when you're edging it like you would an edger um, it does a really good job. It the it gets the string down there, fantastic. Uh, then you got the easy load um, head. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty 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 good. Uh, what else? Um, I would recommend this. I would definitely recommend this. Um, I would probably also recommend you buying the uh, power pruner attachment about $200 um, I don't think you really need the the brush cutter uh, thing um, you, you can probably do away with that um, but the bottom line is when you buy equipment buy the products uh, like little accessories that come along for that product so if you buy echo buy echo two cycle if you buy echo uh, string trimmer buy the two cycle oil for it buy the string for it buy you know just buy it because it's designed that way now you can use the 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 other stuff uh the ugly string um some of the other people on youtube use but i would recommend just buying echo brand stuff and use it with the, the echo trimmer it, it makes it easier um, they design it that way and 
Why not? Why go against the grain, right? Um, go to Home Depot, go to your local um, Echo dealer, buy it. it. It works great for me. I recommend it. I give it a, a thumbs up. And if you uh, like the advice here, this review, I definitely, um, definitely give it a shout out. Say, hey, you know, you like it too. Um, if you don't like it, let us know as well. Uh, other people are wondering, hey, what should I buy? Should I buy attachments? And another reason why you should buy um, trimmers that can pull apart with attachments, if you ever had any of your stuff stolen, it's easier to, to store, let's say in a job box, in the back seat of your cab. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it pulls apart. Uh, you don't have to get your whole entire inside of your cab all dirty if you don't have a job box or if you don't have something to keep it from being stolen. Um, just an option. Once again, subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more. Bye.